In today's video, we are going to be bringing Sandy to the vet. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with her just yet. Um, obviously, Sandy is very close to turning two. She's turning two next month. So she is um, on the older side of hamsters because um, the hamster's lifespan is two to two and a half years. Um, she has been showing signs of slowing down recently um so i've just been keeping an eye on her and then about two three nights ago i was watching her in her enclosure and she was struggling to get around quite a bit she was kind of wobbly on her back legs um she fell a few times she was running on her wheel um and she fell off her wheel so that was kind of alarm bells for me so i just felt like it she was due a little health check a little check up with the vets there could be something wrong with her, um, but there also could not be. So just to keep on the safe side, we just always have to be prepared for things like this. Um, owning these animals, that just anything could go wrong. It could just be a simple checkup and they could just tell me that everything is fine and that it's just her showing signs of aging. Or it could be anything like arthritis or something like that. So we just need to get her checked out and fingers crossed everything is okay but I just thought I'd bring you guys along with me um so I already have her little carrier that has her bedding in it so I'm just going to fill it up with some stuff to help make this journey as stress free as possible for her um It's always so hard to open. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is just full of her bedding. So I'm just going to pop some stuff inside of here just to make it less stressful for her. Also got this coconut from her enclosure that I'm gonna see if I can fit in here. Just to give her something to hide in. So that is her carrier all set up. I'm also going to add some millet spray, something for her to chew on while she's in there. And her little wooden mushroom. I just want to ensure she's as comfortable as possible. And I'm also going to add some treats for her. Some little, we've got a walnut and a little monkey nut. I'm gonna pop those in there. I'm also going to sprinkle in some of the Mediterranean treat mix from Pride Rock Blooms. This is one of Sandy's favorites. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this in here. just to give her something to forage for. She might spend the whole time hidden away, but just to ensure that she has stuff to keep her entertained, 
don't know how long we're going to be in the best waiting room for so there we have it that is the carrier all set up for the tricky part which is trying to find Sammy in her enclosure. Obviously I do not condone waking up a hamster during the day for any other reason than bringing them to the vets. Obviously hamsters are nocturnal unfortunately vets aren't open 24 7 so we do have to wake them up sometimes during the day. So I have recently, obviously you guys know that I recently done a new setup for Sandy. I haven't quite figured out where her new bed is, where she has chosen to sleep. So we're gonna have to do some digging to try and get her out. So yeah, wish me luck. <laughs>
be in her carrier. She's currently having a nibble on the nuts that I provided her, so that was a hit. Um, yeah, let's bring her to the vets. She was so brave, weren't you? She's a very, very sleepy girl because hamsters are nocturnal and you shouldn't be waking your hamsters up during the day for any reason apart from getting them checked. So let's pop her back in. <laughs> happier with how well that vet trip went. The vet was so thorough with her. 
he took her out of her little carrier, made her walk up and down on the table. He weighed her to make sure she wasn't overweight. She, he looked inside her ears to make sure there was no infections, listened to her breathing because obviously res respiratory infections are very, very common in hamsters and he was aware of that. So he listened very carefully to her breathing. Thankfully, everything is okay in that regards. He checked her over for lumps and thankfully there is nothing of that going on. Um, he came to the conclusion that it looks like she might have early onset arthritis, which is not nice to hear, but also isn't the worst. Um, so it could have been a lot worse. Um, he gave me some anti-inflammatories um, and pain medication to give her. Um, so I need to give her medication now every night which is going to be tricky because Sandy doesn't come out every night. So unfortunately I am going to have to start digging her out to ensure she gets her pain meds. Um, but yeah, all in all, it was a very positive trip. I have the receipt here. So it cost me 32 pound and 50 pence altogether for that. For the consultation and the medication so i'm very happy um that my bank account wasn't stung too bad um but yeah so i'm happy to hear that sandy is all good and she is as i said at the beginning of this video just getting older so she does have early onset um arthritis it might not get worse the medication the medication could help her immensely and she could be back to her normal self again so we just have to keep an eye on her but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little video i thought it would be really good to take you guys along on the vet visit with me because i don't see a lot of vet related content when it comes to these small animals so i thought it was very important to show you guys what it's like how much things cost what to look out for and things like that so yeah um, I'm going to leave Sandy alone. She's probably going to be sleeping for the rest of the night. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.